Uh, hi, J.R. Willette, uh, 3 Summer Fair Street. Did you want to look at that for a second? Or? Yeah, I want you to give me a second here because some of it I can't read. Say Sumner or Sumner? Uh, summer Fair, F A R E. Last month, I submitted a right to know requesting information that was used in determining the command staff equity raises that were given in non public last year. That's the information you have there. Uh, the information I received from the chief did not substantiate these uh, raises. Um, let's see. I made another copy from my own personal records. You have the originals right there. I'd like, to, uh, <clears throat> I'd like you and the public to see the information the chief sent to me for a charge of $1 per page. For instance, the first sheet states, Command Staff Pay Research by Captain Cecilio. I'm being charged $1 for this page. You can have it for free. As you will see, some of these sheets are not totally legible, had nothing to do with validating the reason for the increase, and did not pertain to actual salaries the command staff were earning at the time when the decision was being made for the, these equity raises. I'm asking that you include this information as an attachment to the minutes so that the public can see what information was used to warrant these command staff raises. I am also asking that you waive the $15 charge for these documents. The command staff wage information that was used was from 2007 and 2008. This information was outdated and inaccurate at the time. If this information was in fact used to warrant these raises, we have a very flawed oversight system in place. Including, included with this information package was a list of employee salaries for Manchester and Portsmouth. Why this information was included is troubling to me when these two communities are clearly not comparable to Hooksick. I suggest contacting LGC to find out which towns they suggest that are comparable. And, <clears throat> do you need to look at that some more? I'm listening to you. Oh, okay. Rest assured, I am. All right. Included with the package I received, in my opinion, is the best piece of evidence that disputes these raises, and it came directly from this department. It's a memo from the chief's assistant to the chief dated December 1st, 2009, a month before the raises were approved. This memo indicated the pay rates from other agencies at the time. I will not go into all the position salaries this memo stated, but I will use the chief's salary as an example. Gosstown Chief earns $88,054. Hampton, $92,144. Milford, it was a range of $61,030 to $91,555. Durham, $88,682 for an average of $90,108. After reviewing this information, I cannot understand how justification was determined in increasing these uh, salaries. For instance, the chief salary at the time was $98,862, which was already $8,754 higher than the average amount other chiefs were earning at similar in size agencies. Increasing the chief's salary to $105,705 after already earning substantially more than these other chiefs is insulting to the taxpayers. The same goes for the remaining command staff salaries as well, as you will see in that packet. This is clearly foul play and needs to be investigated. I also have concerns with using taxpayer funds for conducting searches in an attempt to substantiate employee equity raises. One of the captains and the chief's assistant were used to search and prepare information for these equity raises. In my opinion, this is mismanagement to say the least. Paying a captain to conduct a search and prepare a presentation for the benefit of his own salary is just flat out wrong. In my opinion, that, it, that this is not the best use of expending our hard-earned taxpayer dollars 
especially paying someone to try and come up with some information in order to substantiate his own pay increase. I'm requesting again that these uh, raises be removed. I also have concerns over the chief personally signed for his own pay raises. I'm requesting that an investigation be conducted into how these raises were determined, how justification was made to warrant these raises, who is allowed to approve these raises, and if the chief can sign for his own increases. After examining the information supposedly used to warrant these raises, it's clear something is not right. Commissioner Gagnon at the time said these raises were not, were long, can I finish? Yes, you can finish. Um, <clears throat> were a long time coming and should have been done six years ago. As a very angry taxpayer and a member of the budget committee, I appalled, I'm appalled that these raises were given, especially after reviewing the information that was supposedly used to warrant these raises. I also gave you a formal complaint relating to these raises and for the chief personally signing his own raises. Please look into this. It's not right and it's insulting to the taxpayers. Thank you.